please go ahead and pause the video and try the question before moving on. What we're going to do is first draw a picture of the baseball diamond. So here we have the baseball diamond. This location would represent so-called home plate. We have first base over here, second base, and third base. The question stated that the baseball diamond is in the shape of a square, so we know that these are 90 degree angles here and here. And then the question also stated that each side of the square is 90 feet long. So we've labeled this side 90, the opposite side 90. We know the entire side here is also 90, and what we've done is we've pinpointed where the batter would be standing. We have called his distance to first base x, and since the entire length from home to first is 90, that would mean this extra distance over here, this leftover distance, would be 90 minus x. So make sure you pause the video and, and make sure this picture really does make sense. And what we're going to do next is draw our attention to the right triangle that is colored in orange here. We know that for any right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem would apply. So we can set up the Pythagorean theorem for this orange triangle. We are going to have x squared plus 90 squared equals the hypotenuse, or a squared. So we'll write that equation over here. Now what's nice about this equation is that it includes the variable a. And if we look at the picture, a represents the distance from the runner to second base. And part a of the question asks us for a rate related to that distance, that distance from second base to the runner. So this equation neatly includes that variable a, that distance from second base to the runner. So once we have our equation, what we need to do is differentiate it with respect to time, take the derivative with respect to time. So for the first term, we would have 2x multiplied by dx dt. The second term is a constant, so the derivative of that constant would equal 0. And then the term on the other side would be 2a dA dt. Now, based on part A of this question, think about which of these variables we're actually being asked to solve for. Is it x, is it dx dt, is it a, is it dA dt? If we read it again, it says at what rate is his distance from second base decreasing? The distance from second base. So that distance is a, but since they're asking about the rate of that distance, they're really asking about dA dt. So it turns out that this is the term that we're trying to isolate and trying to solve for. So maybe what we can do is divide both sides of this equation by 2a in order to isolate dA dt. Of course, the two a's here would cancel, and the twos would cancel here. And so we have successfully isolated dA dt. Let's move it up to the top of the screen. Now, of course, the next step is to plug in the known values. The easiest known value is probably x, and how do we know what x is? Well, the question mentions that the runner is halfway to first base. So, of course, if the full distance from home to first base is 90 feet, then halfway to the first base will just be 45 feet. So, basically, x is going to equal 45. Now, for dx dt, notice that the runner is running towards first base, so he's sort of running in this direction right here. Think about what's happening to that distance x, and ask yourself, is that distance getting larger as he runs towards first base, or is that distance getting smaller as he runs towards first base? And it's probably very obvious that that distance is shrinking as he runs towards first base. And in fact, we know the rate at which that distance is shrinking, because that would simply be the speed of the runner. As he moves towards first base, he's moving at a rate of 24 feet per second. So this distance is sort of closing off, or it's decreasing at the rate of 24 feet per second as the runner runs along towards first base. And because it's decreasing, we actually have to include a negative sign in for this rate right here. So in short, dx dt will in fact be negative 24 feet per second. And finally, a will also be pretty easy to solve. Recall the original equation that we started with. Now we've already noted that x is 45, so if we square 45 and 90 and then sum them, we have the value of a squared. All we need to do, of course, is square root, and that's going to give us a. And we've simplified it into its simple radical form. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. So we have a equaling that value, 45 root 5. And notice in terms of units, you have a feet in the numerator and a feet in the denominator, so those will cancel. And then the units that are left over will be feet divided by seconds, which of course is just feet per second. So now the rest is just a little bit of arithmetic. Let's simplify this. And when we do so, we get negative 24 over root 5 feet per second. That is the rate at which the distance from the runner to second base is decreasing. Notice that that rate turned out to be negative, so in fact that 
sort of confirms what we expected, that the distance from the runner to second base at that moment is decreasing at a rate of 24 over root 5 feet per second. Now on to part B, which asks, at what rate is the distance from the runner to third base increasing at the same moment? Now third base is over here, and what we can do is actually work with the other triangle in the diagram. And we're going to use Pythagorean theorem once again. We're going to have 90 minus x squared plus 90 squared is equal to b squared. Notice that b is the distance from the runner to third base. We are now set to differentiate this equation on both sides with respect to time. The first term here is a little bit more complex than what we saw in part a, but it's not too bad. We just have to use the chain rule. So we're going to pull the exponent down here. We'll have 2 multiplied by the quantity 90 minus x. Subtract 1 from the exponent to make that 1. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Now the derivative of the inside, recall, is going to be negative 1. But then we also have to multiply by dx dt. In these related rates problems, we must always multiply by the d variable dt. In this case, the variable was x, so we have dx dt. The derivative of the constant is 0, as noted earlier. And then on the other side, we will have 2b times db dt. Think about again for this part of the question what we're actually trying to solve for. Is it dx dt, x, b, or db dt? And it's probably obvious from what we did in part A that because it's asking about a rate, and more specifically the rate at which the distance from the runner to third base is increasing, we're going to be solving for db dt since b represents that distance from third to the runner. So let's isolate db dt by dividing both sides by 2b. And the 2 here in the numerator and the 2 in the denominator can cancel. We've already noted the value of dx dt. Remember, since the runner was moving towards first base, we concluded that dx dt was negative 24 feet per second, negative because that distance x was decreasing. We know that x, once again, is 45 because he's still halfway to first base. So this distance right here, which is labeled x, would be 45 feet. And then b can be easily obtained by just reverting back to the equation that we started with in part b, which is actually written right here. So we'll just plug 45 in for x and try to solve for b. And maybe we can show that work down here. In fact, conveniently, when you do the simple algebra here, you should be able to figure out and solve for b, and you'll determine that it's actually 45 root 5, which actually should make perfect sense because the blue triangle that we're working with right now is perfectly congruent to the orange triangle that we had worked with previously. So why don't we go ahead and pl plug in the, the known values? into our db dt equation. Now I omitted the units in this case, but since it's going to be a rate for part b, just like it was in part a, the unit will come out to feet per second. Notice that when you go to simplify this, you're going to have a negative multiplied by a negative in the numerator, and so those will become positive, so you're gonna have a positive answer. And it turns out that when you simplify this, db dt turns out to be the exact same value. It's going to be 24 over root 5 feet per second. However, it's a positive 24 over root 5 feet per second. So that means at this moment, the rate at which the distance from the runner to third base is actually increasing at the rate of 24 over root 5. Remember in part A that the distance from the runner to second base was actually decreasing at that very same rate. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more solutions to common physics, calculus, chemistry, and other subjects.